hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to be showing you how to repair your damaged hair at home without having to cut it off so before i dive right into it hair damage can be as a result of so many factors like too much heat bleach chemical dyes illness and scalp infection so if you're thinking how do i know if my hair is damaged what are the what are the signs so here are signs of hair damage texture change your hair is stringy and it has straight ends and loser coil patterns are some of the noticeable change in texture lack of elasticity so we all know that a healthy hair is supposed to shrink all our hair is prone to you know it's prone to shrinkage so that is the natural state of it if you notice that your hair does not shrink back anymore after you have you know stretched out your hair and you're trying to revert it back to its normal state and it is not shrinking back anymore just know that it has lost its elasticity that is hard to pronounce it's not hard to pronounce but damaged hair loses its elastic <laughs> so this is what causes coil patterns to loosen and stretch dry and brittle hair um you have to really really pay attention i know sometimes our hair is usually dry maybe due, due to the weather or other factors but you have to be able to tell the difference if your hair is abnormally dry if your hair tangles easily it's breaking and snapping it is totally normal for hair to shed during um styling detangling or washing but it is important to know the difference between hair shedding and hair breakage because hair shedding is a part of our natural hair growth circle so damaged hair breaks off at the weakest point in the hair shaft excessive freeze so you should know a normal amount of freeze from when it gets abnormal high porosity so we know that there, there, there is a normal high porous hair right but if your hair is extremely porous if it loses moisture like really really fast this means that the cuticle of your hair is damaged and can no longer hold moisture Ten sign can be when your regular routine isn't working anymore for you your hair is trying to take note that your hair is trying to tell you something when you notice that your regular routine does not work anymore for you for example if you do wash and go and then you style it and you notice that it is not popping it is not giving what it's supposed to give know that your hair is just trying to tell you something so guys, have in mind that when your hair is damaged, you don't need to go cut it off right away. With the proper care and a few targeted treatments, it can help restore your hair over time. So this is when you need to switch from your maintenance mood to protect and repair mood. First thing to do is you have to water clarify to remove product buildup, silicones that may be preventing the water from being absorbed try washing and applying a protein treatment it can be any type of protein treatment it can be avocado egg also try out hot oil treatment this helps in reducing excessive freeze and also helps bring back the shine on your hair if your hair is dry and weekly deep conditioning treatment is going to help bring back the elasticity on your hair it's also going to help eliminate dry and brittle hair after every wash day, make sure you use any of the sealing um, any of the sealing method, either the LOC or the LCO method, to seal in that moisture. Apply clay mask and also amla powder mask. This will also help clarify your hair and bring back its elasticity. Deep conditioning also helps to reverse heat damage. Use apple cider vinegar rinse to eliminate freeze. Is don't forget because you're trying to repair your hair you must always keep it clean and moisturized so like i said before you're trying to repair your hair right so it is better you put it in constant protective styles and make sure you avoid heat at all costs don't forget that you're trying to repair your hair this is like a tip always use cold water after shampooing and conditioning always use cold water to top it off you want to carefully brush and detangle your hair because you're trying to 
repair a damaged hair right and so the hair is fragile it is brittle so you want to um, brush and detangle with care trying to bring back the um hydration on your hair if you're trying to bring back the moisture on your hair or hair is just always dry make sure you hydrate daily with just water and a leave-in conditioner and don't forget to trim off split ends take if you can find any good hair vitamins take hair vitamins you can look them up on amazon you can read reviews you can get recommendations take hair vitamins this is just going to boost your hair growth like it's just going to help boost your hair growth and just you know enhance the overall appearance of your hair i can't really give you any i can't recommend any in particular because i have never tried out one but i advise you go and you know make your research check amazon just make your research and find a good one so remember that with the fragile state of your hair you do not want to be washing your hair every single day Washing every day may strip your hair of its natural oils. Also, avoid over manipulating your hair. This is the, like I said, this is the protect and repair method, right? So you want to avoid any hairstyle or any, even any protective style that is actually going to, you know, give any protective style that is high tension that will stretch your hair. You want to avoid all that. With all those few treatments and hair care tips, when you do this like regularly, over time, your hair will revert and bounce back to its normal state. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to give this girl a huge thumbs up. Leave your comments if you have any questions. Leave them on the comment section below. And if you're joining us for the very first time, if you're seeing my face for the very first time, hi, hello, consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.